All right, all right, all right. I said it'd be a part two, and here it is. We have actually come all the way across the mountain uh, where uh, Pamplona meets uh, Santa Catalina. And now we're in Chaton. Me and the wife just decided to stop here. It's a nice little place beside the road. And uh, nice coconut trees. Here she is. I haven't had a chance to really ever do a little mini interview with her. So I'd say she's got a cold or whatever. We both got colds right now. We're about over them. I figured this might be nice to catch her voice before it comes back. You know how that is. <laughs> anyway, this is a beautiful spot here at a racing boat. It's a lot of rocks out here, but. This is Chateau, and Chateau's got a lot of inlets here. This guy's boogieing, man. That's fun. It's a beautiful day as far as you can see on the horizon, though no, there's no land. Anyway, let me get back to this sexy thing here. Yeah. So what do you think of the 19 years being together? It's good. It's we have our ups and downs, but we're making it. Yeah, we'll be making it here too, man. It's a great makeout point. <laughs> man, we had to stop beside the road, do a little kissing and stuff, man. <laughs> it's great though. It's it's so good to um, everything we were talking about, all the stuff we've been through, and having kids, and good good times, bad times, hard times, all that, man. We just right now we're a lot more, I think, solid than we've ever been before. Of course, she's the most beautiful thing I ever saw and still is. So anyway, uh, what do you think of the Philippines since you've been back? Mm, I always love Philippines. It's my home country. And uh, do you miss the cold in Colorado? Uh, sometimes when it's so hot. Yeah. So yeah, it's, it's been recommended here to take a break if you can every couple years. Well. Actually, every year is what I've heard. If you're a foreigner and you and your wife, if you're especially if you're retired and can afford it, you should definitely take off and go uh, to another country or explore. We haven't had a chance to really do a lot of exploring ourselves because we always had the kids and it was just too much. We're right here on the highway, so you got to kind of forgive the traffic. But anyway, man, we love riding around in the jungles together. Uh, we got our truck, so we can pretty much go anywhere and up in the bushes if we want to. <laughs> yeah, but after 19 years, man, we're still rocking and rolling and can't wait for more time together and more travel. So, uh, yeah, we're working on our next projects and all. And uh, we've, like I say, we lived in Dome and Getty before and uh, it was just work, work, work. So. This morning, like for instance, this, we got very few chances for date nights or anything like that. It was always, we had kids and that was a lot. So now they're kind of growing up and growing into their own space. So now we have more time for each other. And it's like whenever we first got together. And what did we do mostly when we first got together? We're riding. Riding, exploring. Yep, swimming, we'd go and stop and get something to eat. And yeah. man, it was just a time together. You know, spending time together was so much fun, even though we didn't have much, but man, we had each other. So we had a solid basis yeah. for- He was broke before and I'm rich. Yep, <laughs> I was broke, she, she's richy rich. <laughs> she was going to DePaulog Medical College and she came sashaying in the club one night with this little nursing uniform, never been in a club before. And that was it for me, man. Hell, I sang a few Bon Jovi love songs and hell, it was on like Donkey Kong. Went to church, tried to go to church the next day. Hell, I went to the wrong church. Yeah. I was pissed off, man. I walked in there, I ain't see her. I said, damn, she done stood me up. Back then, I ain't had no cell phone either. Yeah, oh. we use Chica. Yeah, it was Chica. You had the old internet cafe. You go in there and make an account under Chica and you can message somebody. So I messed her, messaged her and I was like, where in the hell you at? And she's like, I was at the Kingdom Hall. And I was like, no, you wasn't. Mm -hmm. 
She said, yes, I was. And she said, oh, there's two kingdom halls here. I had actually went to the wrong one. So that afternoon I went and picked her up and we went over to uh, to P-Tan and sat on the beach and talked all day and spent all night. And then uh, she went back to school the next day and I was just waiting, waiting, waiting for her to come by. She'd come by at lunch and we'd fool around and stuff. It's fun, man, yeah. Sometimes we'd just lay in bed all day with the breeze because it was just us, man. So when you have kids and stuff here, it changes things a lot because when you have one, your life is for your kid, you know, so that's what we did. And then we wound up having three, so we just dove in with everything we had. And even through all of that, here in U.S., just a long time over there, we didn't have a lot of money and stuff. And still ain't rich, but, you know, we got enough to where we could stay here now indefinitely. And... Uh, kids are loving it so now we have that time for each other that we had before you know we can sneak around and act like teenagers again yeah but uh yes yeah, nice and shady here and in, in chaton it's probably i think it's about not quite an hour from dumb and getty about 45 minutes so going north toward uh elo elo so if you get a chance to come down here or whatever and check it out man you want to get away from the city because that's kind of what we do is we we love getting away from the city and just getting out somewhere together somewhere we can go parking or whatever you know man got that got that big beast to four-wheel drive hell so yeah we're we're digging our time together so yeah kids if they'll be home sometime we're like sneaking around and stuff it's fun. It's like being a damn teenager again. So, and I think when you come back to Philippines like this here, your love is reborn. Things that you that used to matter so much about working and working and working and working in the U.S. We just kind of got at a point we lost sight of each other. We, she worked at night, I worked during the day, and you know, next thing you know, one one day you wake up and you don't have any time with each other, and that's not why we started. So. To be able to get back where we started at was probably one of the greatest achievements that we had. So we're done with babies. We're not gonna have any more babies. If the kids or whatever decide they want to, then so be it. I've told them, I said, that's a big, big, big responsibility then because your time's cut in half. So if you're ready for that aspect of your life, but we wanna go back and be teenagers again. We wanna go back and you know go share those flirty little quiet dinners and lunches and stuff like that and dub and getty's got a lot of that we like that but there's so much more on negros oriental to explore uh cebu is absolutely outstanding we haven't even we lived over in bato for a while and we really didn't do hardly anything over there except work and karaoke and sorry sorry stores so now Richie, she when she was growing up, she was a working student in Cebu, so she knows Cebu better than me. So we're going to start trying to go over there and explore. I mean, there's a place here in Negros called Sugar Beach. We've never been there. Uh, like I say, Cebu is loaded with little cheap resorts. You know, if you're on a budget, which you know you need to be if you're going to live here full time, because you can get carried away, and if you don't watch your money or whatever, it'll disappear. We've had close calls before, and even with this, all these medical bills that we did, we probably spent close to 15,000. So yeah, it put us pretty close to the line again, but you know, we, we're coming back around and we've got more houses and stuff that we're gonna be building. And actually, if there's any foreigners out there that want um, consultation or a, general contractor i'll be more than willing to help you out because building here it can drag on and on and on and just you know exhaust your patience and you don't want that here you know you want to keep it just like when you got off the airplane if you can you know the peace and the time together and don't do what you did in the u.s don't damn go back to damn i gotta have a house and i gotta have this and i gotta have that and next thing your possessions start living you instead of you living your dreams so you'd be amazed what you could damn live without here 
Like sitting here with my wife right now, I swear to God, man, I could live without no clothes on at all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Damn right. Anyway, we go ease we go ease on back up the road now. Figure we do just a little part two here. Yeah, look at that, man. Hell, I, I got to get shit, man. I got to go. I got to get a kiss, man. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. <laughs>